Why are narcissists so jealous? Narcissists are very jealous. They experience feelings of discontentment, misery and misfortune, triggered by a person's possession, qualities or luck. They experience feelings of bitterness and resentment. They experience anger and disappointment, as though they have been treated unfairly. When the narcissist first met you, they put in a lot of time and effort to secure you as their next source of supply. They wanted your attention. They wanted you to take notice of them and regard them as something interesting or important. They wanted you to desire them. The more time you spent around the narcissist, the more they began to consider you as their personal possession. They began to consider you as something that belonged to them. They believed that they had the right to control you. They tricked you into giving your power to them so that they then had the power to control, to influence or direct your behavior or the course of events. They used and manipulated you for their own selfish needs. They demanded and persisted to always have their way in every interaction, every situation. The longer you stayed with them, the more, the more they began to see you as their personal property. They began to isolate you, hide you from the world and other people. You stopped doing the things you once loved to do. You stopped talking to people you once enjoy talking to. You stop going to the places that you once loved to go to. You did all of this to serve the narcissist in an attempt to make them happy. They didn't like it when you had friends or your own hobbies and interests. They wanted to keep you alone to yourself. They did this to control you. If the narcissist believes that someone else is interested in you, whether other, as a friend or romantic interest, it could mean the end of their ownership over you. If you have an interest in a hobby or activity outside of the narcissist, it poses a threat to the narcissist's control. Any outside source of influence, whether it is a person, hobby, interest, movie, or even an inanimate object, can be a potential threat to the narcissist's influence and control over you. See, these are all potential threats to the narcissist's influence and control over you because you are giving your attention to something outside of them or something they have no control over. The narcissist wants you to be focused on their needs and nothing else. When you give your time, energy and attention to something outside of them, in the narcissist's mind, that means less time, energy and attention for them. They also want to isolate you to take away any potential sources of help or support that might assist you in establishing your own independence, which would be another threat to the narcissist's control. The narcissist wants to keep you in a false reality where they are the only thing of significance or importance to you. They want you to see it as though 
There is nothing outside of them. There is nothing greater than them. This is why they have such an obsessive need to control and isolate you. They also fear that if you were to experience something outside of them, you would then realize that they're not as great as they made themselves out to be. While you were in the narcissist world, they might have tricked you into believing that they were this all-powerful, all-knowing, attractive or intelligent person. But once you, be, once you begin to leave the narcissist world, they then seem so small. They begin to seem so insignificant in, in comparison to everything outside of the world that they are designed to accommodate you. When you make an attempt to leave the narcissist world, they feel threatened because it makes them feel small. Any time that you try to contact someone outside of their world or start something new, it is a reminder to the narcissist that maybe they are not as significant or important as they believe. It reminds them that maybe there are people outside of their world who are more powerful, more knowledgeable or attractive. Maybe there is something outside of the narcissist world that interests you far more than anything within their world. These are all threats to the narcissist influence and control over you. Just the thought or idea of you desiring to partake in any of this triggers the narcissist to experience feelings of bitterness and resentment, anger and disappointment. The narcissist acquired you as a source of supply to provide them with stability, to provide them with safety and security. They understand that they have no control over the quantity and the quality of the narcissistic supply that they receive. They understand that the amount of narcissistic supply that they re receive can change. Their confidence, self-worth and self-esteem are dependent on the quantity and the quality of the narcissistic supply that they receive. To ensure that they have a steady source of supply, they must secure a reliable primary source to give them that supply. They become dependent on this primary source to compensate for their instability. But emotional intimacy and vulnerability is a potential threat to the narcissist. They fear and loathe intimacy. Intimacy to the narcissist means danger, pain or harm. So they feel intense dislike or disgust for anything that involves intimacy or being emotionally vulnerable. Because of this, the narcissist will distance themselves from their primary source of supply. They will remain detached or separate, having no particular interest or concern for their primary source. Although the narcissist may cause emotional pain and suffering to the primary source, the primary source is also seen as an escape, something that is meant to support and maintain the narcissist, something that is meant to empower them make them feel stronger and more confident in controlling their life. The narcissist represses the thought or idea that the primary source might have needs of their own. The narcissist is locked into a cycle of behavior known as approach avoidance repetition complex. 
they initially crave and feel desire to have some form of intimacy, stability and security with you. But this is then followed by an avoidance of commitment and abandonment and neglect. As though they never had any interest or concern for you. The narcissist has to behave unpredictably and abandon you to maintain control. They cannot be intimate or emotionally vulnerable with you because that would involve giving up their control. Intimacy to the narcissist means danger, pain or harm. They fear and feel intense dislike or disgust for intimacy, stability and security. Yet this is also what they deeply crave and desire. This results in them approaching and then avoiding those who are significant to them in a process of incompatible cycles which lack any connection. Once the narcissist becomes close to you, they have to pull away. They cannot get the same fulfillment from the experience of intimacy, stability and security as you do. They cannot experience the achievement of something desired, promised or expected. And this is why they hate. This is why they get so envious and jealous. When you engage with someone outside of their world, when you participate in a new hobby or interest, when you have been intimate with someone else, the reason why it preoccupies their mind to such a troubling extent, the reason why it dominates and engrosses their mind to the exclusion of other thoughts and absorbs all of their attention and interest to the point where they develop this obsessive and desperate need to restrict and control you where you cannot experience anything, anything, anything outside of them where they have this need to isolate you and keep you alone to yourself the reason for this is because they cannot get the same fulfillment from the experience of intimacy, stability and security as you can this is why they hate this is why they get so envious and jealous so bitter and resentful so angry it's because they cannot get the same fulfillment they cannot experience it in the way that you do They crave and desire those things, but upon consumption, it produces nothing but intense dislike and disgust within them. This is why they are so jealous. This is why they are so hateful and envious. This is why they are so angry. And it is also the reason why they abandon or avoid you because they already know that sharing any form of intimacy, stability or security with you is not going to benefit them in any way. It is not going to fulfill them in any way. This is also the reason why they isolate you and try to sabotage anything that you've got going on. Because any time that they have to witness you experiencing those things, it reminds them that they cannot partake and get the same fulfillment. So by default, all they can do is hate or take those things away from you. So they don't have to watch you experience all of the things that they cannot partake in. Because they already know it's no good for them. 
This is why Narcissus are so jealous. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfathercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcsfather store where you can purchase your own Narcsfather t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.